uses a cubic mile of petroleum every single year. And we have to think about the scale this, this represents. It's a huge amount of oil. As we burn it, we're releasing it. It creates a tremendous carbon debt. Algae grows in what we call a carbon neutral process. By that we mean that it sucks up CO2, so much so that it takes two tons of CO2 to make one ton of algae. It's beneficial because it's never pushing out more CO2 than it's using up. closed-loop photobioreactor. So our goal is to produce the greatest amount of biomass from algae that we can. And by going vertical, we believe that we can increase the yield by increasing the surface area and the volume of material to get exposed to sunlight. Algae is the fastest organism, fastest growing plant on the planet, and it sequesters the greatest amount of carbon dioxide. But at the same time, it produces lipids. The beauty of algae is the fact that we can actually be selective about what carbon chains are coming out of it. So for example, if you want to make jet fuel, we can give you a strain of algae that's going to make the carbon chains that are necessary to manufacture jet fuel much more efficiently than you can any other crop. So we can tailor the lipids based on the species of algae that we're growing. If I grow an acre of corn, and I'm looking at it from the standpoint of producing oil, uh, I can grow about 18 gallons of oil per acre per year. Algae, I can go up to 20,000 gallons of oil per acre per year. And that's just in an open pond system. That's not in a closed bioreactor system. If we took one-tenth of the state of New Mexico and converted it into algae production, we could meet all of the energy demands for the entire United States.